What it do? Bad sound crew. Hey, man, listen, today I'm here to talk about Colby Covington's master plan because he ain't fighting Ian Gary. I will talk about this genius call out that he dropped, but mainly I'm here to talk about what his next couple of fights are going to look like because... This is really a baller move. Like, this dude really pulled up from half court, hit the fucking buzzer beater, bro. This dude had a better comeback than LeBron, bro. He deadass came back from down 3-1. I cannot recall the last time I opened Colby's Instagram and I wasn't depressed. Like, I opened it for the past three months and was just like, oh, fuck, it's another happy dad thing. He's just with no women. You know, oh, my God, this guy's a fuck. Like, all the comments just clowning him. Finally, he dropped something. Finally, he fights back. All the comments are low-key positive now, being like, oh, Colby cooked, Colby cooked. He did cook, and I'm going to explain why he cooked, and I'm going to talk about what's actually going to happen. Because you know, I know, before we even go on with the video, you all know Colby Covington and Ian Gary are not fighting. Ian Gary's not going to accept this shit, and this is why, dude. All right, look at this shit, bro. Let me teach you the art of the deal, Ian. Let's come to a compromise. Dude, my boy is fucking back, bro. My boy is back, bro. Okay, why am I a Colby fan? You might be wondering. Uh, because I'm racist. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. It's because the Usman fights were badass, but also it's just funny. It's just funny how mad people get. And I'm going to talk about this, the genius of this dude continuously just saving his fucking legacy every single time, bro. Including so with you this. you can meet these three stipulations, we got to fight. Bro. Stipulation number one. You and that gold digging whore. This dude is literally prime Jake Paul right now, bro. You gotta turn your Instagram comments back on. And if so immediately, this guy, I feel like Chelsea, see, there's a real thing to that. You give the people what they want, right? People want to troll Ian Gary. Colby Covington is like, oh, guys, I want to help you troll Ian Gary. If you turn them off before the fight, you This is where you know bro is not actually fighting Ian Gary, bro. Fight. If you forfeit the fight, bro. Turn them off during fight week or after I beat your ass. You forfeit your purse. That's what I'm saying. This is how you know right here he's not dead ass about fighting Ian Gary. But I love it. I love it, Stipulation number two. Ian, we've heard you cry and beg on your knees, but we all know that you're not the boss and you don't wear the pants in the relationship. Layla, you got 60 seconds bro. to convince me <laughs> and the people why this fight needs to happen. Dude, I need to do this to Lucas Tracy, bro. I need to be like, Lucas Glazy, you got 60 seconds to prove to me why you deserve to fight me, even though I've got like three times less to subscribe. I'm taking notes on this shit, bro. I'm telling you, this is a master class and it's part of the master plan. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, bro, because... This, that's two things. We've, we've listed two stipulate, Bruv, that's two stipulations in a row. That's not happening, bruv. They're not fucking agreeing to this, bruv. You know yourself, bruv. So put your husband in the corner. Dude. Get on your hands and knees. This is just a fucking, bang. oh my now God, Now for stipulation bro. number three. My this shit is crazy, favorite. dog. As you all might have noticed, something's been missing from my my book. Dude, this is literally like a Avengers Endgame level plot. I was not ready for this shit, bro. Promos lately. Because when I see in the promo videos when there's no girls, I'm genuinely like worried for Colby Carr. I sent him a couple. You know how you message Ronaldo before his game or you message LeBron like, yo, good luck, bro. I've been messaging Colby, bro. I've been like, yo, man, hope you're doing good, bro. Yo, reach out to me if you need. Yo, hope you're doing good, brother. Cake and candles, my brother. Uh, hope you're doing good, man. Yo, I've been sending him that shit, dude. I'm glad he's doing good, bro. That's because I've been saving that spot. What for a, a f summer. oh my! Layla, you want to be a star, bro? Nah, this is actually like the most goaded call out I've ever seen. So obviously, this is a genius call out. I'm not gonna go on about this for a while, um, but this is what spurred the video for me because I was thinking, all right, watching this, it's very clear to me. I'm basically the Colby of YouTube. Uh, you know, I, I created the name Flucus Glazy. I've created some other great names and jokes on the on the uh, the flip side as well. I'm very humble as well. I mean, come on, dude. I'm I'm basically the best wrestler on YouTube as well. He ain't fighting Ian Gary, bro. He ain't fighting Ian Gary. And you know what I love about this shit? This weekend he dropped this, and then also this fucking Chad has moved up the rankings in welterweight by doing nothing. Bro literally had the same amount of wins as me this weekend, and he's moved up the rankings. All because of JDM and Gilbert Burns. And this plays into what I think is actually going to happen. I think Ian Gary's going to get on Instagram. He's going to drop a video. I'm not agreeing to your fucking terms, yeah? You can sit down. You can shut your mouth. And you can sign what the UFC gives you. Because I'm going to re fucking retire you. And Colby Covington's going to turn it down and be like, Hey, I, I said yes to the fight, guys. He's going to turn it down. He's going to have all of the power, all of the, you know, fan perception on his side when Ian Gary turns down the fight. People are going to be commenting, commenting on Ian Gary's uh, re-uploaded Instagram post because he can't even handle fucking Instagram comments. 
being like, oh, dude, eat, bro's scared of Colby. Imagine being scared of Colby. Bro's ducking Colby. It's fucking, this guy's a fucking genius. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the, that's the lead in to the master plan. Here's what, here's what's actually going to happen, right? Because I am the UFC script writer, of course, um, as well as being Charles Oliveira. Guys, he ain't fighting Ian Gary. You know who he's going to fight, dude. He's fighting Gilbert Burns. He is fighting Gilbert Burns next, and it's fucking genius. Gary's going to turn it down. Colby's going to be like, all right, well, I tried to fight him, but he doesn't want to fight me. And then we're going to get Colby Covington versus Gilbert Burns. Five rounds on a pay-per-view announced as the co-main event to a big pay-per-view. And Colby Covington's going to win this fight, dude. I can already hear MMA Joey raging about this pick. I can hear people in the comments raging about this. Listen, dude, think about it. Gilbert Burns just got KO'd by JDM. He got 50-45, dominated by Bilal Muhammad, the GOAT of welterweight. And now is the perfect time to do this because that's the only time Colby Covington fights people that you want to see him fight is when they're coming off two losses. So if Ian Gary wants to get the fight, I think he needs to get KO'd as quickly as possible. In the meantime, I think this is the fight that's going to happen. It makes a lot of sense ranking-wise. They're number four and number six. They've had a lot of history in the past. Uh, Gilbert Burns has caught him out multiple times. I can really see this fight getting made, and I think Colby Covington wins this. He's younger than Gilbert Burns. Again, he has not been KO'd brutally in his last fight. And he's going to continue the Colby Covington eagle maxing trend. Now, what is eagle maxing? Eagle maxing is Brian Ortega. Listen, I had to break my beak. I had to get three fucking title shots, and I had to get beat up by the champ and come back and repeat, repeat it all again. You beat up a contender that is a stylistically good matchup for you, and you show some sort of new improvement, new skill, get a finish maybe. You go straight back into a title shot with the new champion. You lose to the champion. Take about two years off. This is a big part of the eagle maxing kind of regimen. You take about two years off. Then you come back and you repeat the cycle. Beat up another contender. Fight the champ. Continue the, the, you know, continue the fucking you know, process. Right, And this is why Colby Covington is a genius. This is part of his master plan. His topology is going to be fucking goaded after this plan, dude. He's going to beat Gilbert Burns. People in five years... Oh my god, he beat Gilbert Burns, Masvidal. Fucking holy shit. Woodley, you know, Damian Maia. Oh my... RDA. Oh my god. And then they're going to be like, who did, who, oh, well, who did he lose to? Oh, he only lost to the welterweight champion, Leon. And he only lost to Kamaru Usman. That's, this guy's a fucking genius, bro. How many times do I have to fucking tell you, dude? We are so back. So he's going to beat up Dilbert Burns, all right? And then you know what's going to happen. Colby Covington's going to get a title shot against Bilal Muhammad when he beats Leon Edwards, bro. I mean, come on. The script is right there. If you don't predict this to happen, you're a fucking idiot, dude. Bilal's going to beat up Leon. You know, I, I want to I wanna fight Colby next. I want to defend my title against Colby. You know, I want to take that guy out. You know, that guy's a clown. I want to beat that guy up for five rounds in the striking and the grappling and the wrestling. I'm better than him everywhere. And then Bilal Muhammad's going to beat Colby Covington by decision. Colby Covington's going to say he was injured. He's going to take about two years off. I would say about a year and a half is probably the, the ultimate strategy in this master plan. And then he's going to come back. And who's he going to fight? He's going to fight MVP, who's going to be the biggest name at welterweight that will guaranteed not win the belt. You know, I know, we know, MVP will get wrestle-fucked at some point in this UFC run. And Colby Covington will fight him right after that. Coming off a loss to Bilal Muhammad, you know, it's only, it's only a loss to Bilal. He's the champion. He's the guy that managed to beat Leon via fifth round KO. That's, the, that's what's going to happen, by the way. Fifth round head kick KO for Bilal. Um, look into it. But nah, all jokes aside, Colby Covington could just repeat this process. It's genius. He did this exact shit to Hamzat as well. He called out Hamzat. He was like, bro, I'll fight you five rounds in the UK. Of course, Hamzat's not going to say yes. He can't even go to the UK, bro. He, bro, he can't even think about going to the UK. Bro is completely on lockdown. He's grounded in fucking Abu Dhabi right now. And Colby knows that. And he's not making 170. How many times do I have to say it? This is a genius master plan. This is what's going to happen. Colby Covington is going to continue this call out of Ian Gary with unreasonable Jake Paul type stipulations. Ian Gary's going to reject them. He's going to look like he's ducking Colby. Colby will be like, all right, whatever. I'll fight Gilbert Burns instead who people think can actually beat Colby Covington, which uh, I'm, I hate to say this, prime for prime, Colby Covington would whoop Gilbert Burns' ass anyways. But even now, especially, I think with less damage and being younger, he beats Gilbert Burns. Then he's going to get another title shot when Bilal beats Leon. And he's just going to repeat the fucking cycle until he retires. 
So this is Colby Covington's master plan. I'm here to tell you the script. I think the call out was genius. And I can see what he's doing. He's cooking. I can see what he's, he's doing. He's cooking. He's a fucking genius, bro. And he's back. And we are so fucking back, dude. I thought it was over when Leon beat him. But he has fucking hit that half-court buzzer beater. Bang! From way downtown. Colby Covington for three. This is a genius master plan. This is what he's doing. So let me know if you agree with me. If you see what I see. Or if you actually think he's going to fight Gary. What do you think is going to happen with that? Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video if you enjoyed this. Make sure you guys subscribe because at 20k, which is coming up this week, uh, hopefully, we're going to be doing the impressions tier list. And I just want to say thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers, guys, um, when we get there. You know, it's been a long, long road, bruv. That all said I couldn't do it, bruv. I come from a zinc roof, bruv. So I appreciate you guys very much. Subscribe for that. Subscribe for the blob tier list this week as well. Go follow me on Instagram at Bedtime MMA when I call out Lucas Tracy, just like Colby Covington. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video, boys. Goodbye.